What's up with you, man? What's going on? Uh, well, you know, uh, Rudy is one of my one of my players that play on my uh, on my on my AU team on, under the circuit. So, uh, I mean, whenever whenever I can, I, I want I, you know, I try to I try to pull up and, and reach out. Uh, to each and, uh, each and uh, last one of those, one of my players, just to check on them, seeing how they doing. And uh, I was gonna come uh, to a game, but you know he was he, he's he's, uh, he's recovering from an injury right now. So uh, he called me and was telling me about a camp him and his mom that uh, him and his brother was throwing, and, and, and I was I was kind of surprised about it because they're they're so young in age and. And uh, you know they have different things that they want to do as, as young adults, and for, for them to kind of like carve out a day where, where they have a camp for for kids, that's that's that shows mature, uh, maturity and, and uh, it shows a lot of growth uh, and leadership uh, leadership qualities, and, and I commend them for doing that. So I mean, it was a no-brainer for me to come down here and just uh, get a words, uh, get the kids a couple of, a couple of uh, words of encouragement, and uh, you know that, that's pretty much it. As an OG in the game, you've been in the league. Are there, what are the differences you see now between you know you growing up playing basketball and these kids right now playing basketball? Uh, well, you know when, when I when I when I played, it wasn't a whole lot of social media. Uh, well, we had MySpace gotcha. stuff like that going. <laughs> so, uh, so it wasn't a whole lot of uh, distractions. You know, you 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 already have the the worldly distractions uh, already when you when you go to school. You know, uh, the females. You got your homeboys. You got stuff you want to do on the weekends, and then now they pile that on top of, uh, of that. They got social media, so uh, a lot of these kids, you know, when you see it, when you see a kid that's really focused and driven on on, on uh, a certain type of path of like professionalism, whether it, whether it comes from basketball, football, or anything, you know that, that that kid is really more determined in this day and age now because it's way more distractions. Uh, but um, you know. I would say, you know, it was it was kind of like hard to tell back in the day because everybody played hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In, in, in today's in today's game, you know, you can kind of like dissect and pick who who was who who was really good and who's not because everybody's not playing at the same tempo anymore. You think it's more like some people playing for show because of social media? Now? Absolutely, man. I mean, you you you'll get a you you'll what you you'll go on Instagram and you'll want to pick a kid up because of because of what you done seen him him put together, and uh, and then when you get him get him on the team, you like, Shh, where was I, where was all that where was all that what I was seeing on Instagram? So you know, it's times has definitely changed. They they're manipulating the game a little bit. So you you have to definitely go go and go and go and give you give a kid uh, uh, your presence and, and your your own opinion, uh, and, and don't don't judge it off of off of Instagram. So, you know, like I said, you're OG in the game. So right now. Seen your son in there. He told he growing up mm -hmm. like he trying to take on the game. Well, Absolutely. Passing on to him that you wish you could have had. Absolutely. Going on into the game. Uh, just knowing how to play the game from a better from a better mind perspective. You know, you, I'm young. Uh, I was I was one of my I was my kid. Uh, you know, my family's the, the golden child, as, as you as, as you would say. Uh, so everything that I did, I had to learn through my mistakes and my own exp my my experiences because nobody ever experienced what I experienced but me. So I was, uh, you know, I was young. I just had to kind of uh, maneuver my way through through the league. You know, you, you make some you make some 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 decisions that you you wish you could you could take back. But uh, if if I had to do it all over again, I, I would do everything the same way because it gives me an opportunity, like you said, to be able to uh, give my 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 uh, my my son. The players that's on my team give those give those kids guidance and knowledge on what to look for and what to do in order to stay successful. Tell me a little bit about your team that you have, and you know let people know what's going on. Uh, well, you know I got a uh, I got two teams. I got a I got a ninth grade and I got a I got a fifth grade. Uh, my fifth grade is currently ranked fourth in the country. Uh, my ninth grade I got a, I got a lot of uh, guys that are young. They're they're, they're the right age. I don't have any red shirt freshmen. I got true freshmen. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I believe in the development of the kid, uh, not only just on the court but off the court, uh, because I'm, I'm raising young men too. I'm helping raising young men too. So um, I, 
giving them giving them the game from from both aspects. It's like, you know, when when, when we were younger, uh, we we had to like dissect riddles that our parents would say uh, to kind of like help us get through maturity and, and understand life. But you know, now, like I said, with due to social media, you kind of got to overseas in the meat. And I, and I don't want to, I don't want to like label kids as like, you know, meat and stuff like that. But it's like, you know, it's a kid, you know, young, young, young meat, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta overseas it so you can, so you can be able to help them understand how to go about making decisions for themselves.